during the release of the exams, Honorable Janet Museveni, the Education Minister, instructed all schools to maintain the amount for school fees from the third term of 2022 until further guidance. But we don't just talk about this without any, any firm evidence of what we're talking about. We don't just want to continue to talk about things that are affecting education as if we are doing nothing about them. We recently worked in partnership with the Norwegian Embassy to carry out a study on the UPE program with the main aim of determining whether we need to charge fees or not in our government schools. In 1997, when UPE was brought on board, and now the enrollment stands at 8.7 million learners in government-aided schools who are getting UPE capitation grants. Overall, Mama, we have a total of 10.3 million learners in primary education in Uganda. This significant increase in primary school enrollment is an indication that the payment of fees was a big impediment for a poor rural family. The Uganda National Examinations Board has revealed that 2022 primary living examination candidates performed better than the previous year. Comparable past levels of PLE results released show that at least 7,014, 702 candidates passed the 2022 examinations as compared to the 659,910 of 2020. In addition, 8.7 million learners have so far been beneficiaries of the universal primary education ever since it was introduced in Uganda. This year, there were a number of suspected incidences of external assistance of candidates. Unfortunately, this includes teaching staff who should be the custodians and role models of integrity and trustworthiness. I'd like to remind all our teaching staff now that these young people look up to them and replicate what you model before them. We must therefore demonstrate utmost discipline when fulfilling our roles and functions. Indeed, this is a universal requirement of humanity and in particular the education profession. Furthermore, none of our cultural or religious beliefs condone cheating or dishonesty. In Titus chapter 2 verses 7 to 8, the Bible states in quotes, you yourselves must be an example to them by doing good works of every kind. Let everything you do reflect the integrity and seriousness of your teaching. Teach the truth so that your teaching cannot be criticized." Unquote. A total of 832,654 candidates from 14,691 centers registered for PLE in 2022, compared to 749,761 in 2020. Of this number, 583,768 Approximately 70.1% from 11,306 centers were universal primary education beneficiaries and 248,982, approximately 29.9% of the candidates, were non-UPE. The proportion of candidates benefiting from the universal education program has increased by 1.71%, indicating growth in the education sector. Make sure that uh, the teachers get more uh, time to train on teaching. I'm sure you have heard that the uh, government now demands that all teachers should be university graduates because we believe that there are some teachers who are not well qualified to teach from primary, even pre-primary level, 
And so we are now trying to ensure that uh, teacher policy, which is now in place, will perhaps bring a step higher out all our teachers. Candidates who sat for the 2022 primary living examinations have posted better performance compared to their colleagues who sat for the 2022 examinations. Naomi Mtumba and Samuel Kirimonda, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.